was doing here? I was just on my phone. Oh, yeah, right. Someone asked me to do a how I edit my Instagram pictures. So that is exactly what I'm doing today. Um, I was kind of weird. I was like, you know. I just kind of like made it up on the spot. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. And I was going to do um, a, what's on my iPhone and how I edit my Instagram pictures. And then I filmed it and I was it was 20 minutes long. And I was like, no. So I'm just going to do the how I edit my Instagram pictures part because someone um, requested to do that. And I'm really sorry because it, I'm just now doing it. But maybe later on, if you want me to do a what's on my iPhone video, I'll do that. But I'm just going to be showing you guys the how I edit my Instagram pictures part. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. Bye! Before I show you all these, I'm going to show you Square Ready because it's just the easiest. Square Ready, oh, I just showed you what it can do. Blah, blah. Never mind. It just, whoa. Look at that. Okay. Um, It's basically where you, like get a white border around your picture so you just want to press this button albums and I'll do this picture Whoa, okay and then basically you can either press these or this one but I usually like to make it kind of like a Polaroid camera like I took it on a Polaroid camera or you can like move it all around shrink it make it zoom up I'm just gonna put it right here like a Polaroid and then when you're done just want to press this Camera roll and say I like to save it to this quality. And then there we go, it's saved. So first in the row is Afterlight, and this one costs money, which sucks. Oh, I just showed you again. Hold on. Blah blah blah. Forgot to like it. Go ahead. So you just want to press this one. Get this one. I'll just show you with I guess the white border. Okay. So these you can basically just do like the uh, clarify the saturation, the brightness, everything, and <laughs> the sharpness. And I usually sometimes like to sharpen it a little, but I'm not. I'll just why not a little. And then, and then these are all the filters. There's original guest and seasons, but I'm just gonna be showing you guys the ones I like. So I like ash for the black and white. Um, coral. I really really like that one. I'll just use that one, and I like to turn it down a little. So it looks like with no filter and with the filter, so just like turn it down. Or, and I also like Bloom. Bloom is pretty. So yeah, I'll just do that. And there's filter. And this is where the light leaks come in. So I really like these. You can choose any one you want. I like this one though. This one's awesome. But And I like to just move it down a little. And then you can always like flip it. Like that, or like that. I really, really like this a lot. And then you just check mark it. And then this, you can just like, you know, oh, do like an overlay or like switch it or crop it or do it like that. And then this is where you can put like the like triangles or like this or this. Oh, I shouldn't have put a white board around it because it looks kind of weird. So, yeah, but this one I really like because you can do like hearts like that sorry you can't really see what it really looks like but to turn it down you go like that and you can like fade it down like that oh sorry you can't really see it because hold on let me just get a new picture Back. Oh, yeah, I'll just get one without a white border so like I said you can do all those other things and then this see so can do like a heart like that and then you can you press this turn it down like that so you can see more more of the original picture and you can do like all different ones like a sun or this or this and then you just check it and press done pix art is free is that's the next one um so you just want to press edit photos and i'll do this one um hold on hold on never mind you want to have you want to make sure you have a white border around your picture so i'll just do this one because this is how i get my overlays uh, on it and i actually get them from we heart it which is that other social media app so i just search overlays and i get an overlay and then so you can do like all these different like effects and stuff 
and it's really cool. You can just like play around with these since it's free. You can just like download it. And, but at Pop Art, you can do like this or this or this. All these different things. You can go like this. Press check and go like that. It's really cool, but I'm not going to do that. I never really do that. And then you can do like draw, masks, border. So, um, but for the overlays, you just want to press add photo. And I have like a, like a album with all my overlays and you just get them from We Heart It and screenshot them and then crop it and i'll just do um these ones and then you can do as much as 10 so there you go here's your overlay but you want to press normal and multiply so it's like multiplied and you can like move it around and make it bigger like that and you can and then you can uh, you press that and then you can always put like another one like this one like that and then you can like turn it around multiply like that and then also i used to do these like pictures where um i made like this cool background what you just it's basically like the same thing like you get a background which is like hold on oh my god you get like a background Oh, I don't really have any more backgrounds, but you get backgrounds, because I, like, delete them all. You get backgrounds from an uh, Instagram account called Background Stuff. And it looks like these, and you just, like, want to screenshot them, and then crop it to square so it fits Instagram. And then you go to Pixar, and you would first put the background, and then you just press Add Photo and put your picture over it, and you can, like, move it and stuff like that. And then, you know, press that, and it saves to your gallery. Next is Moldiv, and I really, really like this app. It's a collage app. Um, it's where you can, you know, pictures in a collage, and I've, like downloaded so many collage apps and they all like suck so i'm just gonna be doing one i guess with four and you can, and i also like to put like sometimes like two like the same pictures so i'll just do this one this one this one and this one oh I'm letting you see. I'll do Ansel Elgort because he's so awesome. He's so cute. <laughs> and then there you go. Have your pictures and you can like move it around like that. And then what you want to do is you can go to frame adjust and you can adjust everything. I like to adjust the frame so there's like no spacing. And then you can adjust like this, like this, 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 this. Just play around with it and I really like it. Obviously you're not going to go like that and then you just want to save and you can do like different backgrounds and stuff. And then Superimpose, I'm not going to show you because I never use this app and I'm regretting, regretting it because it costs money. I only used it for one picture and I haven't even, and I didn't post it on Instagram. It's this one. I'm remake like the tiger. I'm not going to show you because it's so complicated and it's not really worth it because I don't look at this picture. But anyways, if you want to learn how to do it, just look on YouTube. Yep, yep. And then Avery, I just used to like cover up blemishes, but I never really use this, so you can do all these different ones like sharpness and blah blah blah. And also it's good because if you have red eye you can just tap the eyes and then you can whiten your teeth. But I think my teeth look pretty cool. But you can zoom in and you can like whiten your teeth up. It really helps actually, and then you press apply. And now my teeth are awesome. And you can, like, fix any blemishes. You just touch it, and it, like, gets rid of anything like that. And then you can, like, yeah, I don't know what my meme is. Mime. I don't, oh, this. Okay. That's that. And then adjust focus is if you want, like, um, a blurry background. And then, like, your original picture, you want it to be, like, focused, you know. So, this one. So first you want to just adjust the blur. I like to keep it like in the middle like that. And then you can like change like the brush size, big or small. And then you can no, you can zoom in and then you go like that. And you, wait, this is not working. <laughs> oh, you go to original and then you, what? And you just like go like that 
all around your whole body or whatever part you want to be focused. Usually when if my if my camera is cooperating like on my phone, then it'll actually work and there'll be like a blurry background. You just want to go like that and it really works cuz then you have like a blurry background and then you're like focused and then you just, you know press save. And then font candy you probably already know you just can like put ah like text like that over pictures basically i'm not really going to show you like that and you can yeah it like gives you like examples like that and then you can like change like the font and like the color of the font and the color of like your original picture and stuff like that visco cam i only use it for one filter and that filter is off um, so first you want to like add a picture to your visco cam i guess thingy and then you no. double tap it and then you want to press this little button. And then it brings you all these filters. The only filter that I love, love, I use it, like, on all my pictures, is T1. It literally makes your picture look perfect. But you want to tap it again so you can turn it down. I like to turn it down to, like, 5 or 6. It looks perfect. Like, like on camera, through the camera, it doesn't really look that good. But, like, in if you're actually looking at it, it looks like perfection, you know. And then you just want to, like, you know, save it and do that all that cool stuff, you know. Next is Pixel Express. I do not use that app at all. I only use it sometimes for the contrast, but you can, like, use it, like, for all the different things, but I never really use that. Twin Collage is where you can... Here, I'll show you, actually. I used it for this one, where you can make, like, kind of like a reflection. So, ooh, 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 first, you want to go to your camera, pick this... And then you want to press plus, and then you want to press this magical button right there, and you want to, hold on, before you do that, <laughs> you want to add another picture, so like that. And then you want to press the magical brush, and you can like either keep it like that, or you can rotate it like that, that, and then they press done, and there we go, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, and then it's like that, and then you just pass check, and you can save it to also, like, camera, all square ready, Instagram, stuff like that. And then there you go, and then I, like, put the overlay on it, too. Paper look, I don't really use at all. It's kind of like pix art. Like, you can put, like, just different pictures together. Kind of, you just, like, randomly put it on a thing, and then you just do this. And then you basically just put random pictures I don't want that picture. <laughs> um, just put like random pictures, um, like together, and then you can like shrink them and go like that, and it's really cool, you know. And then just save it. And I think that is it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video, especially you, Jaden. I think her name is Jaden. Yeah, her Instagram user account username thingy was jdog so i really hope that you um especially like this video um and if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment also if it helped um yeah <laughs> the cold <laughs> but anyways um if you want me to do a what's on my iphone video um tell me in the comments um so yeah i'll just see you on my next video bye